there's a psychological component to bladder retraining and there's a physical component. We can understand that, right? Because if the brain has the power, then we gotta trick the brain. And if the body needs to have the ability, we gotta get the body strong again in that area, right? So let's talk about the five different kinds of incontinence. Okay, we're gonna go through each of them and each of them have slightly different things that are going on in the body. You'll know by the time we get through this part which kind you have, right? Like the bladder is not full, but there's a signal coming from the brain to contract, right? So we gotta, we gotta to intercede that connection. That's behavioral therapy. That's behavioral therapy. There's a lot of behavioral therapy in this, in this program, you guys. There's a physical component. We can understand that, right? Because you know, we gotta make sure the sphincter is gonna work, right? Otherwise, all the behavior is not gonna help. But there's behavior. And a lot of times, we're just peeing out of habit. Out of habit. And we never wanna say, I'm gonna go to the bathroom just in case. Never say that, sorry. I know, look at somebody's rolling their eyes. I'm not gonna say their name. I know, we all do it, we all do it. <laughs> 